Hi guys, Kev here from Kevlog Gaming. I thought I'd do a review of this case because this case is my favorite budget case to build with. I've built about eight PCs recently with it. Well, let's say eight of my last nine PCs that I've built, I've used this case. So this is the first player DKD4, first player gaming case. So let's take a look and see what it's like. Right, okay, here it is. So the reason I wanted to review it and actually share this with you guys because it's a budget PC case. It's really cheap. It's, uh, I think it was about £37. It's under £40. I'll put the proper price up and where I got it from. Um, it's available in lots of places. I've always found it in stock. The black one is probably even cheaper than the white one. I think it's, quote, it's under £35, which is a bargain for a PC case. There are cheaper ones you can get. But for me, I found this is the best value for money, cheap budget PC case. So first of all, proper tempered glass. Now there's not a lot of cases I'd say out there that give you proper tempered glass for under 40 quid. So we'll take this off and I'll show you a few more things. Okay, there you go. So yeah, nice thick glass. And if you can see there, it's got a nice first player logo embossed into it. Nice little touch, looks neat. Okay, then I'd say the second thing that impresses me about this case, this isn't in order by the way, because the tempered glass doesn't impress me as much as this, is that it comes with four fans. So four fans in a under 40 pound case, I think is really good. Now they're LED fans, so they're not RGB, but LED, they are multicolored. You can't change the color, but they come up in nice multicolored. I'm not, I haven't got it plugged in or anything, but I'll put a picture up to show you. I've got lots of pictures of these cases that I built. I don't think I've got a video, but yeah, lots of pictures of them pre-built. So yeah, lovely fans. They're quiet-ish, quiet enough. Can you see close enough? So in here, you'll see the LED strip that's around the fans. They plug in using the Molex cables, which is fine. It's easy to manage. So fans are always going full speed. You can't control them by you know plugging it into your motherboard, but again, what do you expect as a budget PC case? The four fans, I think that's great. Um, great for cooling. And again, the design's good, so it's a really nice mesh front here, which is you know a nice sort of pattern as well. It's not just flat, so that helps with the cooling as well. So the cool air can come in. It's got the, the vents down the side, so I think the cooling is actually really good for this this budget case. It's got your bit at the top magnetic so you know more space for fans at the top more cooling possible so that's really good and again nice touch of the magnetic i quite like having this down the bottom here on these because again if you're doing a budget a real budget pc build you're probably not buying a really expensive power supply you're probably still going for a decent power supply that's not going to blow up your parts but it might not look the nicest, it might have a white label on the front of it and it might not look that pretty. So yeah, I quite like that for a budget build, hiding my power supply, so that's pretty cool. It's not super light, you know, it's not heavy, it's not a, a really solid case, but it's, it is pretty sturdy. I say it's a lot solider than some of the cases I've built with under this price bracket in the £40 price bracket. A downer is, okay, we've got some screws here for your motherboard screws, a spare, um, what's that called? I always forget the name of these, okay? Yeah, the little mounting bracket things that you sit the motherboard on, a spare one of them. Screws to, you know, screw in your SSDs and your hard hard drives and things like that. But that's it, that's one downer. Um, Cause I'd say other cases, even some other budget ones I've had, they come with cable ties, a few more screws, just things that I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head now, but yeah, that's a tiny little bag of bits and bobs. Sometimes you get a lot more with it, more spares, cable ties, things like that to keep it nice and tidy. USB 3, so yeah, let's have a look at the top. So it's got a USB 3 port, two USBs. One thing that does confuse me, so I just had to have a closer look because I wasn't sure if it was this case or not. Now, it has an LED button, okay? Now on other cases I've had, budget cases, where there's an LED button, that LED button is usually to change the color of the lights. So if the lights are LED lights, but you can change them from multicolor to just plain red, green, blue, whatever. But that button, it's got a cable, okay? So there's a cable 
from it, but then it's not doing anything. It's, they're not plugged into the actual fan. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what that button's for. I've contacted First Player, the manufacturers. I think they're based in China. No response. I've contacted the retailer that got it from. They haven't got an answer, so yeah. That's a bit disappointing. There's nowhere else online. I looked for YouTube videos or anything like that. So yeah, so I'm a bit unsure about that. It's a bit annoying when you're building this case for a client and so you sell them a PC and you kind of have to say, yeah, that button doesn't do anything. If you know, let me know because I might just be doing be, being stupid and maybe it's for something else. My experience is an LED button on the front of the case is usually for the LED fans. Now whether it's there because you can buy some aftermarket fans and change the fans out and yet you could have it working as an LED but yeah it, it doesn't work. Um, but again it's a budget case it, that really doesn't bother me. Under 40 quid we've got so much other cool things about it. Um, so yeah the standard cables it's got a nice hole at the back here actually let's take the back panel off first. So back panel comes off nicely, the two little screws, got the bit to hold on there. If you see it's got the clips here, so when you're putting it back on, you know it clips in nicely. Um, no real clips at the top, so yeah, it's, it just clips in at the back and the, and the end. So yeah, what was I trying to show you? So now we've got that off, you can see my fingers a bit better from the back. So you have got this nice hole here to tuck all these cables in, which is good. Um, so easy sort of cable management from front, from front to back. You've got the holes at the top here, again for your fan coming from there and when you've got your CPU cable going in there. So that's all good. Another slightly disappointing thing about it is this is there's no cable management here at all. No space for cable management here. So you're all right with your little thin fan cables and your thin CPU cable going up there. But once you've got this back on, yeah, there's literally millimetres space here. However, they've fixed that by having a nice big space here. I say nice and big, but big for, again, a small budget PC case. There's a good space there. So all of your cables that come from the front actually tuck in nicely down there and can loop round, come up the bottom for your motherboard at the bottom. The fans will tuck in there nicely. Uh, your motherboard cable from your PSU tucks in there nicely and you've got the holes again here to get through to the front so that's up actually pretty good excellent really happy with these it's got the um, the hooks as well all the way across here again it's a bit pointless having them here because there's not a lot of space I mean you can see there's a bit of a groove there so there's a tiny bit of space but yeah, you can't fit much in terms of cables there but yeah there are loads of them so you can cable tie your cables nice and neat, which is good. I've done, worked on plenty of cases um, that don't have those at all, um, more expensive ones as well. And that really does bug me because cable management, again, when you're selling a PC that you've built, you want it to look nice and neat and professional. Um, what else have we got here? So yeah, no space here again for SSDs. If you're going with an SSD, often you can plug them in the back here. Um, actually, I think I said on my other video that there was space at the front, which I think I lied because I don't think this is the case that has it at the front. No, so some cases that I've worked with, there's space for SSDs here and you screw them in from the back, but not on this one. But they do have a hard drive bay at the bottom here, which comes out nice and easy with some screws here, slots out. You can see there it's got like the little slots it slots into um, you can fit a hard drive full you know big HDD at the bottom or inside it you can fit a SSD on top of it and then sorry let's go back here so here you can fit them in here as well so you can screw them underneath so attach them there put the screw on the top and yeah hard drives there so there's there's plenty of space I mean, like I say, it's, a, it's only a small case, it's not a big case, but I'd say for a basic build, it's got enough space to manage your cables, which I've always been quite happy with the case for that. Lastly, I think the PCIe slots 
comes with one empty ready to go, which is a bit annoying in some cases if um, your motherboard, I guess, is a bigger one and the graphics card is lower down. You've already got an empty slot that you might not use. That's frustrating. So you'd have to buy a spare from eBay or something like that. Because once you take these ones out, it's one of those cases where it just snaps out and you can't put them back in. Um, but again, for the price, I don't care about that. That's that's not an issue. I've, I've had the same with much more expensive cases. Um, yeah, it's got the, the PCIe lock here. Fairly standard. It's fine. No problem with that. So yeah, all in all, I'd say that's a really good case for under £40. I'm really happy with it. Like I say, I've done a lot of PC builds with it, budget PC builds, and it's, it's yeah, does a great job. So that is, what was it, the first player, let me just check the name again, first player DKD4. Um, I'll probably put a link in my description as to where I've been buying it from. Hopefully they'll still be stocking it when you have a look at it. Um, but yeah, great case for under £40. Well recommended from me. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you found it useful. Please do give us a like if you did. Please do subscribe for any future videos. I mean, I might start doing some more regular reviews of products that I get in. Um, but at the moment, most of my PC building videos are going to be about actually building a PC rather than reviews. Um, but you can also check out my gaming videos as well if you're interested. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.